There's always been poaching of Dudleyas. Uh, I've seen it from the 80s, 90s, and uh, 2000s. But the level of poaching has dramatically increased in the last several years. The plants have gotten so popular in Asia that there are tens of thousands of plants being shipped over there. Dudleya are found along the California coast. It's a group of succulent species, many of which are rare and endangered. One of the things that's really devastating is that people have been poaching Dudleyas. In some areas, they're taking tens of thousands of plants. Uh, we're not talking about pounds of plants, but in some cases, tons. When they had the problems of identifying the plants, they could uh, send photos or send the plants to me uh, so that we could identify them and let them know how rare the plants were that were being poached. So when plants are poached and they're brought to us, we decide uh, with the agencies which plants are safe to put back out into the wild. The ones that aren't safe to put back out in the wild, we collect seed from those and then we distribute that seed. We've partnered with the California Native Plant Society and given them tens of thousands of seeds. They're growing on those seeds and they're gonna give away those plants for free. Another thing we're doing is trying to develop new varieties. Uh, so these aren't species, uh, but they're cultivated varieties, things that will do better uh, in cultivation. If you grow something in cultivation for 10 different generations, uh, then they're able to handle overhead watering, watering too much, watering too little, uh, so they can do better for people in their gardens uh, or on their windowsills. We're trying to flood the market. We're trying to make these plants cheap and boring so nobody goes out and collects them in the wild.